the tragic and unsettling story of Timothy Treadwell, commonly known as the Grizzly Man, featured a bear attack that happened in Cape May National Park. Timothy Treadwell and his girlfriend Amy, who Gaynard were camping in Alaska's Katmai National Park when they were killed by a brown bear in 2003. Timothy was a passionate lover of wild animals, particularly grizzly bears. Born in New York in 1957, he had a difficult upbringing and struggled with drug addiction throughout his college years in Long Beach, California. However, after a near-fatal overdose, he discovered a new passion in Alaska's Katmai National Park and devoted himself to studying and living among the grizzly bears for the next 13 years. He referred to himself as a bear whisperer and gained minor celebrity status as an eco-warrior animal protector. Treadwell's summer trips to Katmai National Park were marked by his close and often dangerous interactions with the bears, which he recorded on video. Despite his lack of professional training and his reckless and immature behavior towards wild and dangerous animals, he believed that the bears saw him as a friend, not a source of food. Unfortunately, his girlfriend, Amy Hugaynard, who was not obsessed with bears, joined him on this risky venture, ultimately leading to a tragic outcome. The deaths of Treadwell and Hugaynard were captured on camera as they were mauled and killed by a grizzly bear in their camp on September 29, 2003, just one week before their scheduled departure. The camp was located in the Alaskan wilderness during a time when food was scarce making the bears more aggressive and hungry. Despite these dangers, Treadwell and Hugaynard set up camp and began interacting with the bears, including a large and irritable animal named Ollie. This bear ultimately attacked and killed both of them. The only knowledge we have of the incident comes from a six-minute audio recording recovered from the remains of the camp, but the recording has never been released to the public. Treadwell's death serves as a reminder of the importance of approaching wild animals with caution and respect. Despite his good intentions, Treadwell's belief that he no longer needed bear spray and his constant interactions with the bears led to them becoming habituated to humans and losing their fear. He made a fatal mistake by allowing his untrained and unarmed girlfriend to join him on this risky venture. The impact of Treadwell's death was far-reaching. Many saw it as a tragic result of his obsession and recklessness, while others mourned the loss of a passionate environmentalist and animal lover. Despite his mistakes, Treadwell's legacy lives on through the hundreds of hours of footage he captured of himself and the bears, which continue to captivate audiences around the world. The bear that killed Treadwell and his wife who Gaynard was later determined to be a male approximately 17 years old and in poor condition due to a lack of food. The bear was subsequently shot and killed by park rangers when the bear gone rogue. The incident serves as a cautionary tale of the importance of respecting wild animals and the dangers of approaching them without proper training and equipment. In the aftermath of Treadwell's death, some have called for stricter regulations on the interaction between humans and wild bears in national parks. While Treadwell's methods were misguided, his passion for conservation and the protection of wild animals continues to inspire many to advocate for the preservation of these magnificent creatures in their habitats. Overall, the story of Timothy Treadwell is a complex and emotional one, encompassing themes of addiction, passion, and tragedy. Despite his mistakes, Treadwell's dedication to the preservation of wild bears and their habitats will always be remembered, and his legacy will continue to impact and inspire future generations.